Welcome back. Uh, well, uh, as we have uh, mentioned, uh, that uh, the Organization of Islamic uh, Cooperation have uh, chosen uh, uh, Cairo to be the capital of uh, the uh, uh, tourism for the year for its member states for uh, the year 2026. Well, uh, to know more or to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have with us over the phone our dear guest, uh, Dr. Ahmad Badr, tourism expert. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you and uh, all the audience. Thank you very much. Thank you so. Th thank you so much, sir. Well, uh, Dr. Rabadre, uh, uh, what did you feel uh, to uh, hear this uh, good news concerning uh, choosing Egypt uh, or Cairo to uh, be the capital of tourism uh, for uh, the member states of the Islamic uh, Organization of Islamic uh, Cooperation uh, for the year 2026? Well, that's a very good news, uh, looking to Cairo as being one of the most uh, recognized uh, cities in the Islamic world uh, with all its uh, uh, heritage, uh, Islamic heritage and, of course, cultural heritage and uh, Egyptian heritage and culture. Uh, we all know Cairo has always been known as the city of the Thousand Minutes because of the so yes. many mosques were built in Cairo, whether uh, from uh, Fatimic uh, period, which uh, they built Cairo around the year uh, 980s, something like that, more than a thousand years now. So, uh, starting from uh, other mosques, Hussein Mosque, and all these uh, uh, amazing mosques in uh, old Eden, old Cairo, and uh, uh, Mohaz Street yes. or uh, Mamluk uh, period or uh, uh, during the era of uh, Muhammad Ali or the royal family or even in the Republic. So definitely there are so many uh, uh, mosques that are being not just mosques but uh, universities like Azhar. It's becoming uh, a huge international university for teaching uh, the Islamic uh, religion and uh, some other uh, mosques that are being uh, uh, a trademark and uh, place for people to visit like Hussein Mosque, like uh, Sultan Hassan, like Rafa'i, like Muhammad Ali Mosque, or even the that modern uh, mosques. Uh, that are being built in the, the country all over. So definitely choosing Egypt that reflects the, uh, the place of Cairo in uh, the heart of the Islamic world. Yes. Yes. Actually, uh, Cairo has been registered uh, on the UNESCO uh, heritage list also. Uh, so, um, uh, for all these reasons, uh, uh, it has uh, been uh, chosen uh, to be, of course, uh, be because it encompasses a large number of uh, monuments and uh, of several accumulated civilizations. So, uh, could you shed more light on this, uh, uh, the reason uh, that Cairo has been uh, chosen? Uh, yes, it is. As, as, as I mentioned, as you mentioned, uh, 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 there are so many uh, places in, in Cairo and in Egypt that are being uh, the list of uh, UNESCO as the World Heritage. Of course, the pyramids, Abu Simbel, and uh, the temples all over, and uh, uh, some places in Wall Street. So, yes, yes, definitely that. Uh, actually, I have to say, all our monuments should be in the list of the UNESCO World Heritage because they are a real world heritage. As we know, uh, Egyptian civilization is uh, the foundation of the uh, all the civilizations, uh, all the human civilizations that came before uh, because of their knowledge and their uh, civilization, what uh, they left to humanity that uh, other uh, civilizations came and but to build over what the ancient Egyptians uh, left for the humanity. So, again, yes, the choosing Cairo is definitely uh, reflecting this uh, place. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, 
Also, uh, Cairo has uh, witnessed uh, uh, during the past uh, years uh, um, uh, the projects uh, concerning the renovation and restoration work that took place in Old Cairo, uh, also in the Kilevi, uh, Kilev, uh, uh, Cairo, uh, and in several uh, parts uh, in Cairo, uh, even uh, the transportation and the roads and the accesses uh, uh, was uh, uh, connecting uh, uh, the old uh, uh, or uh, coping with the style of the old uh, Cairo. So uh, give us an idea about the importance and uh, the uh, state's efforts uh, concerning the renovation and restoration work that took place uh, uh, during the past years in old Cairo. Uh, well, renovating uh, old Cairo is considered a renovating uh, history. Yes. Uh, this, all these places are part of our history, so uh, renovating them and taking care of them uh, is part of uh, keeping our history, our heritage, and our culture, uh, and making them uh, I would say look new. They are, they are not new, of course, and we don't want them to look modern, but just you know, keeping them so they don't get in a bad condition. So this is keeping our history in the first place, and then it helps us to bring uh, more tourists and have uh, more uh, attractions in our uh, touristic portfolio uh, for people to come and see more things. You know, uh, there are so many people that, uh, you know, different, uh, they have different uh, views and not all the people coming to see the same thing. So you have so many things in your portfolio. You can bring more uh, tourists and even bring those who uh, came before to see some other new things that we haven't seen in the previous uh, visit. Yes. Uh, and of course, having these uh, uh, infrastructures of the roads and uh, trains, and uh, that's an infrastructure for the country. First of all, again, and also it serves uh, the tourism. Tourism is an industry that is uh, leaning on the services around the attraction. Yes. It doesn't matter what you have as an attraction. It's, it matters how you show these attractions and how you serve them. Serve them, I mean hotels, roads, mm -hmm. uh, transportation, uh, restaurants, shops, all these things. Uh, yes. Doesn't matter if you have the pyramids, but the services around the pyramids. That's yes. what matters. That's what uh, bring uh, travelers. And we see, mm -hmm. you know, some examples around the world, uh, cities that they absolutely have nothing to offer, yes. nothing. They don't have any attractions, but they succeeded to create attractions and to create services around it. So now we have millions of visitors uh, going to see, I would say, nothing. But because of they uh, could uh, market this uh, in the right way and uh, they have uh, the right services, so they uh, can uh, sell and uh, bring more tourism uh, every year. Yes. Dr. Badra, um, of course, uh, uh, Cairo is a very uh, old uh, capital or a very old city uh, that um, um, I I its age could be uh, around 1,400 uh, years uh, with the Azhar, of course, uh, uh, more than 1,165 years and other monuments uh, here in uh, Cairo. Uh, but can we say that it's not only because uh, uh, Cairo is old, but because it encompasses uh, uh, um, several kinds uh, of uh, tourism. Uh, what are the kinds of tourism that we have uh, in uh, Cairo in general? We have the cultural tourism, we have the religious uh, tourism, also uh, the monuments. Uh, give us an idea about the uh, kinds of tourism we have uh, uh, inside uh, Cairo? Uh, so many uh, segments of uh, tourism in Cairo that Cairo offers. Uh, as you said, the cultural, the uh, religious, the entertainment. Uh, entertainment, I mean uh, concerts and uh, yes. movies and plays. Uh, that's 
uh, especially for uh, Arab world, the, uh, if you remember the uh, used to come to Egypt to uh, watch uh, Egyptian plays on the theater. Uh, the health uh, tourism, uh, people who come for uh, medical treatments, uh, food tourism, people to come to try Egyptian food. Then there are tours that come to Cairo and to Egypt mm -hmm. to just food tasting, just taste the Egyptian food, that's it. They don't do anything else. Uh, conference tourism, uh, companies and uh, institutions do their meetings and uh, conferences in, in Egypt. Yes. Uh, so, so many things. So many, even uh, nature uh, yes. tourism, yes. not in, around Cairo, you know, in the deserts around Cairo, the Fayoum maybe, or the Oasis, yes. uh, some, or the Nile, so yeah, yes. so many things. I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your valuable information, uh, Dr. Ahmed Badr, the tourism uh, expert. Uh, thank you very much for joining us over the phone. I really had the pleasure to have this uh, uh, phone with you. Well, uh, with this, uh, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of our program, Cairo Local Time. My name is Amal Mukhtar. Thank you for watching.